Hey guys, I'm back with another devlog, and uh, today I uh, just it's just a really quick update for you guys. I know I haven't uploaded in a minute, and uh, I've just been taking a break from RPG Maker and focusing on some other projects. I guess mentioned in another video that uh, I'm actually a writer as well, and I've been working on my my web novel that I started last year. For those of you that are interested, just Google Witch Tier and uh, might might see it pop up. A girl with a, a witch hat and blue hair. Uh, but um, yeah, and I, I plan on taking that web novel into uh, turning it into a web comic, but I'm not really much of an artist. I'm actually teaching myself how to draw to. Uh, so I, I, that way I can actually uh, produce my own web comics. The, the artwork you see, if you do Google Witch Tier, uh, that's actually hired someone to do that for me. So they did an incredible job. Uh, now it's my turn to uh, continue drawing those characters. But uh, speaking of artwork and learning how to draw, this uh, this battle back that I created is. Uh, has been teaching me a lot as as far as perspective when it comes to uh, creating these battle packs. It's actually been uh, excellent practice. Uh, you know, the placements of these tiles and perspective, and this in particular, this one I just recently did is might be my favorite that I've done between this game and, and Mana Raiders altogether because I did the motion and uh, the setting. I think it's really nice. I mean, I love the, the, how the trains are going back and forth here. I mean, the train in the background, uh, the blue train, it's actually one car longer than the train in the front, and it's going at a slower pace. And, uh, train in the front, uh, actually I actually have audio, audio linked to the train in the front. It's a little tricky to do with RPG Maker since it's kind of limited, but at least I have something kind of signify that there's, you know, there's a train present, there's, there's, there's a great vehicle present. Yeah. yeah, so the as far as development is concerned with this game, uh, I'm working on the nightmares, which I uh, I mentioned I was going to go into in the last video. Uh, this particular update, I'm. I'm not going to really show anything off of the nightmare system. This is just kind of saying, hey, I'm still here. You know, just kind of waving to you guys as far as the content of this update. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing or I'm going to do is uh, the nightmare system. Really flesh that out. The combat is pretty much done uh, as far as what I want to do. I mean, there might be one or two more broad system mechanics that are virtually self-explanatory but if I feel it's uh, it's necessary or it'll make a an interesting video then I'll probably do that but yeah this is I think I'm pretty much done with the combat I mean I have the team attacks uh, that I'm still working I'm still fleshing out but uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it I'm really trying to kind of cut the got the fat and trying to streamline the content as far as battles are concerned so that way it can be uh, really easy and digestible and uh, gameplay you see here I, uh, I'm probably going to have it where in the beginning of the game the characters or the, the, the enemies will attack really slow so that way the player can really adapt to the speed of uh combat so you can get used to the time of their attacks and whatnot and then as the game progresses you'll you run into enemies that are just faster and faster and faster but they'll use moves that you're you're familiar with but just at a faster pace and i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna have like a a, a block of of attacks and then i'll have uh i'll have like three sets of the same attacks and then just one set will be you know like the, the upgraded version or the, the higher version will, will be like a, a stricter timing and do more damage 
and I think from a, a development standpoint, that'll be easier to deal with. Just trying to add a ton of unique attacks for each individual enemy. They just have something kind of uniform, so that way the player, when they see it, they'll just instinctively be able to react to it. Or they'll know at least they'll know what they're dealing with. I've seen that done in countless games, and that's pretty much what I plan on doing uh, in this game too, since it's it involves so much dexterity. Um, yeah, and I, uh, I'm also considering adding a, um, a, a system where, uh, I'll have support characters, kind of like Persona, where you have, they're like a confidant, where they're not exactly part of the main party, the main four girls, but they can show up in battle, kind of similar to how Nightmares show up, uh, maybe in between turns, and they'll give you like a maybe like a certain buff or they'll do like a certain attack and depending on your your connection your closest to these characters in the real world uh powers up the the, uh, the attacks that happen within within the battles because like i said before that i'm i'm going the the, the persona route with this game where you have the main characters they're involved in the real world and uh, the basic plot is there's a bunch of teenage girls in the real world. They're getting uh, uh, abducted and murdered. And it turns out they're actually being turned into demons. And it's like there's, there's this is Demon King that's uh, he's trying to find uh, a perfect servant, like this perfect female servant so he's going through and he's turning these girls into demons and seeing how strong they are and how they measure up and uh, you know are they uh, will they make a, like a good demon servant or maybe like a good a demon wife or servant or whatever do they how they measure up and uh, Zola falls victim to one of these demons become she becomes a demon and she decides uh Instead of trying to uh, claw her way to the top of the uh, chart and, and, and be this this idle demon, she decides to to rebel and try to thwart this guy and his ambitions to prevent more girls from falling victim within her town. And uh, she goes into uh, she lives in the real world, and you you can fight demons and stuff like like monsters and nightmares in the real world, but. I'll have segments where she jumps into the nightmare realm and or the, the abyssal realm where uh, she'll jump into the world of mana raiders essentially and that's like uh, is is that world a dream or is her world a dream it's it uh, it'll play with you and, and you'll make you make you think but uh, yeah it's, it's, it's essentially it, it really is kind of like a plot of a persona game but uh, there's some flavor there and some unique things and the, the story itself would it, be a little bit more mature a bit darker because like some the backstory of some of these girls is uh it's not going to be just all fluff and, and bubbly it's actually going to be a little bit uh a uh, bit mature as far as my writing style i, I, I kind of gravitate to more towards uh darker more mature not like super gritty where it's just depressing but just uh like late teens uh it's probably the youngest i would go as far as the the, the target audience I mean, i wouldn't exactly i don't think the plot would be suitable for a little 10 year old but at the same time i'm not going to put anything in the game where you know, it's just completely unsuitable for them or inappropriate for them but that's just where i lean as far as my writing so yeah uh, i'm not really worried about the plot since that's probably the easiest thing to write i mean as a writer uh, I can easily make something compelling in that regard. I'm just, I'm, I'm building my, uh, my my craft and focusing on developing my craft as far as the game itself. So that's what I'm focused on right now. And soon I'm going to start showing off my maps and, uh, and all that jazz. But I just wanted to show off this battle because I, was, I, I really like it and I'm really proud of it. Uh, I think it looks good. And I hope you guys think it looks good too. You know, just uh, let me know in the in the comments below. And uh, you guys, uh, 
like it and uh, happy that I I'm uploading again then uh, yeah just let me know all right guys take care